Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, uh, do a little update here on uh, what should you do when you want to uh, buy your first home. This is for the first home buyers. Um, I um, personally, let's start off one thing. A home is a thing. You do not love your home. You, you, you it's a thing. You, you know, you love your kids. You love your wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, kids, whatever. But do not start loving your home. That's a big mistake most people uh, do, because when you start lo loving homes, okay, when you first, when you're a first-time homeowner, most first-time homeowners, in my opinion, start looking for homes they love. I love this home. I love this paint. I love this kitchen. I love this bath. I love this carpet. I love these windows. I love this. I love that. That's your biggest mistake because if you love the house, you won't get a deal on the house. There's plenty of houses in your neighborhood that you can buy at a discount. 20, 30 percent discount, even a 10 percent discount. Mortgages, mortg if you can't get a mortgage on the house, you can then get a cheaper house. Get it, you know, uh, tell the bank you're looking for something cheap. It, you know, it's your first time home, it's not going to be, you know, um, the Taj Mahal. Um, I suggest you buy, buy something fifty thousand to a hundred thousand, depending on the area, or the uh, upwards of a hundred fifty thousand dollars for your first home, depending on the area. I'm not talking about California. I'm ta not talking about. New York City, I'm not talking about any, you know, I live in Florida, and I own three to five homes at one time, okay, at once. I do own three homes. I am living in this rental at the time being. I bought this house at $19,500. I fixed it up for ten thousand right off. It was right off. So my whole deal is, you know, you, you you people have to realize homes are not loving things. You know, you love your dog, you love your cat, but do not start loving your house. It's the thing. Once you love your house, then you, nine out of ten times you overpaid for the house. I know everyone wants to get their new home and you know, first time of homeowners, but I guarantee it, you got 10,000 homes you can look at and negotiate, 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 negotiate. My whole thing is to save you money as a first-time homeowner. Now, with the with the first-time homeowner, you need a at least a six six twenty FICO, uh, six twenty credit score. Okay, that's easy. Just start paying bills. You know, start paying bills. I'm um, also you, you have to get at least a three percent down payment on a house. Basically, with the um, three percent plus 
closing cost. You, it will take. It will cost you around ten, ten percent. And I suggest you go up to fifteen. If you can get it in home for less than ten percent on a FHA loan, uh, you know, with all the taxes and all that um, ins insurance and stuff, and you know, uh, you might get a good deal. Um, I suggest that you put as much money as possible down, at least 10, 15 percent, 20 percent on your first home. If you can't do it, then you go through the 3 percent. You're actually going to pay 8 percent or 10 percent on the, um, you got to get insurance, you got to get um, you know, mortgage insurance, um, you know, uh, damage insurance on the house, you, you know, uh, property dam, you know, uh, all the insurance, all the taxes, all, you know, they're going to group that, uh, to, up together, the bank, usually, you know, so you pay, you pay your insurance with your, um, uh, Mortgage payment, taxes every month, and everything's grouped. It's grouped together, you know. And and the first time, you know, um, I'll make a couple of videos maybe later on this week to show you what kind of home uh, you should consider should, uh, should you consider the $250,000 home with um you know for your first home or should you get a, the $100,000 home or um maybe $75,000 home depending on your um on your area in the US or in the world Interest rates are going up in uh, 2019. Um, so uh, do, uh, the, the, the housing market will dip a little. Yeah, the, the, you know, um, the, the, and I would not worry about interest rates. If you got a, rate on a loan for 5.5 percent or to 6.2 percent hey that's a write-off you can write off the interest when you pay the um mortgage every month always remember this real estate you can write off everything you write off the interest on the loan on the note you write off this, you write off this, you write off that. So, you know, basically you're living in your home for free at, you know, you know, at, you know, so, you know, and the calculations should be in your budget. That means if you get your home and you make $30,000 a year, Let's say, or fifth, let's say fifty thousand dollars a year, and then your payment, whole payment, mortgage payment, taxes, you know, all grouped together should be a, a, a at least a quarter of your income. That means or less. I like less, uh, like ten to twenty percent on your income. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, you know, love me after, you know, you will understand what I mean. If your income is $50,000 and you pay, a, a, say, a $1,000 on your mortgage every month, that's around 20% on your, your income or less. I suggest 
you 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 crunch the numbers and always crunch numbers. You crunch the numbers every month. How much does the electricity pay, um, cost? How much is the insurance, the uh, mortgage taxes going to be co costing you in, uh, t um, in 12 months a year? Um, 1500 uh, probably about $1,500 on a uh, $1,000 note. Now, for me, a thousand dollar note is too much. I believe people sh on their first home should be actually going for le less than the rent in the area. So, if the rent is a thousand dollars a month, sh the your payment should be about six fifty seven hundred dollars a month, or less, less, less. Less. Always remember this. You have to crunch the numbers. Crunch numbers. Crunch numbers. Crunch numbers. I mean, th this isn't, you know, this is a business. When you get 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 your ha new house uh, as a first time homeowner, it should be a business. It's not personal. You can always get. A, house okay um if you don't like the you know you can't get the first house get the second house if you can't get the first house on the price get the second house cheaper cheap 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 you have to you have ladies and gentlemen you have to consider your first home or any home you buy in the near future, as a business, your house is a business. It's not personal. It's not anything like that. All it is is a thing. I never, when I buy a house, I never, I never, never ever think of that house is a loving thing. I I hate hate people when I you know, especially women. I love this house. I want this house. You know, I, w I want this. I want that. I want you know, I want this. It's your first freaking home. Treat it as a business. Treat it as a business. Treat it as a business. I'm telling you right now, if you treat it as a business, believe me, you you won't have any problems with the uh, uh, price. You won't have any problems with um, you know um, getting the money together. You you know everything is you know focused on the business. I consider everything I buy. A car when I don't drive. If you buy a car, it's a business. If you buy a boat, it's a business. You buy a house, it's a business. You treat it as a business. If the numbers ain't right, you walk away. Walk away on the house. Walk away. Anyway, uh, that's my whole thing on... Uh, you know, first time homeowners. Maybe I'll do the numbers for you on the, uh, another video. This is just a, a rant, um, because I believe most people, when they move, they get, the, you know, new house. First time homeowners, they love the house. Do not love the house. I'm telling you right now, if you love the house, then something in your brain isn't right. Because if you love the house, you're paying too much, you're expecting too much for your first home, you're, you're expecting everything should, uh, should be rosy. 
you know, break it down, break it down the numbers, break it down, break it down, break down the numbers. Okay, let me let you go and we'll 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 get get you know I'll show you the numbers. I, I did another video. Um, see you later. Uh, this is King uh, King New Jersey, and uh, we'll we'll see you later.